Hi cocktail connoisseurs, uh, my name is Florian. I work at Cheval Blanc, I'm the head bartender overlooking three cocktail bars today. Uh, so we are on one of them, which is uh, the garden for the summer. Um, today we're gonna see the second cocktail that we propose uh, at Cheval Blanc, which is the expression millésimée, which we call a uh, vintage expression. The idea of this cocktail was to recreate the, arom the aromatic profile sorry, uh, of an old champagne rosé. So for this, uh, we've been tasting many uh, champagne in order to understand the profile of an old champagne uh, on a rosé part, and we walk around it. So you have different elements right there that we uh, combine to create the liquor that is here. Uh, so we started with um, strawberry jam uh, gin. So everything is infused with it here to have a better consistency. You have a wood vodka that we make, you have saffron, curry, uh, and sep. A mushroom uh, tincture that's going to bring uh, oriental dimension and bring some complexity into the liquor and to be uh, sure that we um, that we put the champagne first because this, that's really the idea of the Kir Royal not to be on something that's sweet or uh, has a lack of acidity um, we we work uh, with different tincture uh, and solution which is salt and acidity which is very important we really wanted uh, to provide the experience to the customer uh, to discover and try your old champagne so when you try it imagine the case if you try it here and you are uh, not able to honest to, to see or to order the drink if you drink it by yourself the idea is really for you to discover an old champagne rosé and not have the idea that it's a key royal uh, mostly so we work with a scale uh, again, the idea is to be extremely uh, precise, so we have a very cold glass. We work with uh, Moët et Chandon, uh, because it's part of the house LVMH and Cheval Blanc, uh, but the Brut Imperial, because we needed uh, a champagne very classic for us to work uh, better with the liquor. So it's 130 grams of champagne, exactly, and then we're gonna add 20 grams of the liquor. Again, the objective here is consistency. Uh, we want to make sure everyone works the same way. So by weighting uh, the two products, you show that the drink is correct. But also, it's very important for the champagne because you're not going to break the bubble. In this case, as we talk about the old champagne, uh, what makes sense is that you have less bubble than a brut champagne, I would say. So we come quickly, break the bubbles, to again trying to uh, replicate um, a classic old champagne rosé. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> 